The eFair this year is about making agile providers. Given the difficult circumstances that learning providers are facing in the East Midlands and all over the country, they need to be very quick on their feet, they need to be able to do more with less and the eFair is designed very much to help them do that. Successful use of technology is not so much about the technology, it's what you do with it. Please will you join me in welcoming uh, Professor Stephen Heppel. This is our seventh e-fair, so what we've done is to bring a lot of the past that, that's worked really well and then add a lot of new features in, as well as things like uh, 15 different workshops and an exhibition area with 35 different exhibitors and an area where people can go and try things for themselves. We've also introduced some, some new elements. There's a free zone, so people are actually quite interested in things they don't have to spend very much money on. Today's a great experience, not only just for the networking uh, possibilities, of, but seeing just what's available, where the moves have been made in demanding times where impact is the main thing that we've got to monitor. It's great to be here to get exposure to what's happening in, in the post-16 sector. There's a nice mixture of um, turning up and milling around and speaking to people. I think the main thing about being at the eFair is, is the contact with, with the sector. Then um, the marketplace is great because you can talk, go around, talk to the specialists, you know, pick up things and say, well, what's this, what does it do? eFair is a great place to come uh, to, to meet exhibitors, to see what technology is on the horizon. But probably one of the best benefits is actually to network with other people, to actually see that you're not alone. People very often tell us that what they really like about the eFair is the opportunity to talk to other people and to network. So we've set them up a, a network cafe and in the network cafe you basically just go along and you talk to other people. Um, we've also had for the first time a debate about the use of Facebook as to whether Facebook will help or hinder learning. There's the structured time when you're actually going into the workshop and having that delivery, the question and answers, which has been really useful. I've been to a couple of breakout sessions and I think it's provided a lot of fuel for thought. One of the good things about being at the is just being able to let people know about the, 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 the free tools that, that you can download. Although I have regular contact with colleges, it's always nice to see people you don't know and pick up on what they're thinking and just listen to the, to the buzz of the conversation. People will go away from the, the e-fair today with all sorts of ideas and things that they think will work for them and the Regional Support Centre is available and very willing to help them think through and then put into practice the ideas that they want in their own organisation.